Hi guys, what is going on? And welcome back to some more Total War Arena. It still feels absolutely awesome to be able to say that. So yes, we've just had the second phase of testing for the Chinese Total War Arena section. Um, I, I wanted to get stuck in. I was a little bit slow getting started, so I missed the first couple of days of the test. So I'm a little bit lower level than some of the other people in the game. But still, I started to focus a little bit down the Barbarian Cavalry Tap Tree again. Because I just really enjoyed cavalry. I really was a cav player back in the day. And yeah, I still kind of enjoy the barbarians. And that's kind of what I wanted to go down. Because they're easily the fastest cavalry in the game. So anyway, I don't want to talk for too long. We're just going to hop straight into a game. And we can kind of talk through some of the changes that we've seen in the game. Because things are kind of quite different from what we were. So let's hop into the battle. So we immediately get started. I just love this game. It feels so good to be back in. So much nostalgia all at once. So, obviously, with our Tier 4 Barbarian Brigands, obviously getting that momentum activated straight from the start and um, pushing forwards. Obviously, things are a little bit different now because the game modes have really changed quite a lot. There's no longer just one base. Obviously, there's these multiple capture points. It's just much more um, longer-term uh, games. Games are lasting, like, you know, 15, 20 minutes now. And, obviously, you have these respawns, which hopefully we'll see a little bit later on. But anyway, the enemy rushes forwards and captures the viewpoint, which obviously gives some visibility on us. I start to advance forwards to the intention of maybe engaging those other Barbarian Cav, but they, they make a run for it, so I go and get the vision point, which enables me to see where they're going quite clearly. And they're nicely clumped up, so that gives me the opportunity to do my old little bit of Cav splitting and just try and try to engage them with one. They're not very happy about the fight, so I go on with my frenzy. We get a little bit of an enemy cav coming in though, so we have to just avoid that charge, although he largely hits the spears, so it wasn't a particularly great charge at his point. And now we're sort of uh, micromanaging a couple of fights at once. But the enemy barbarian cav decides to make a run for it at the, at the back end, so that enables me to try and really push these guys, and we kind of get them sandwiched between these two spear units. Uh, we get one of them routed, obviously going full on on that frenzy, trying to get as much damage in as we can. And I think at this point, this Barbarian Cav realises he's screwed. I think he has a bit of a go at trying to pull out. Um, but with two of his units routed and taking an immense amount of damage as he's trying to get out, it's not exactly going particularly well for him. You'll notice one of the changes that they've kind of done as well is these unit experience stuff. If you look down beneath the health bar of each of my units, there's a little, very small little yellow bar that goes up. And that's kind of my current levels of unit experience. So you'll see that that goes up to the more units you kill, etc., the more experience your unit gets. And then it gets bonuses to its damage, its charge impact, etc., etc. Quite big bonuses. So getting leveled up early on is actually a really important thing to be able to do because it gives you massive damage bonuses. So um, we saw that the enemy cavs engaging there. They were a little bit slow, so it gave me an opportunity to try and, try and charge in. But I think my charge was still on cooldown, unfortunately, which I didn't notice. It was a bit bad form on my part. But we managed to catch kind of one of the units. Get a little bit of damage on the charge, not a ton. But we do get the route in. So obviously we can get a little bit of damage in as he tries to run away. And we're pushing them back, which is all good. But remember, people can respawn on this game mode now. So it's not like what it used to be. Um, you know, back in the old arena where it was one life. Once your unit was dead, it was dead. Now you can respawn. So you see, for example, this is a healing point here. Um, but we managed to capture so one of the capture points that we're capturing. And, you know, I could pull back to a healing point and get my unit back to full health. Which I think we actually do a little bit later on in the battle. So, so we we'll get to see that. So I'm now sort of thinking, right, what do we want to think about next? And someone in chat was saying, please, we need help in the middle. So I'm like, right, I'm fast on Barbarian Cavalry. Let's get the old racing shoes on and uh, race down and try and catch these archers. I think the infantry were having a hard time getting the archers because the archers are quicker than them. So that's fine. Nicely for us, the archers are playing a bit of a bold game and venture forwards again. It looks like they have no infantry support immediately available. They see me. I'm thinking, well, this is going to be a little bit, well, not tough, but I'm thinking about how to manage this because it's a narrow corridor. They place caltrops, but uh, the, the, the first unit places the caltrops and gets away. The second unit doesn't. So I'm holding off on my charge until I've cleared those caltrops, clicking past the unit, trying to get them ready. As soon as I've cleared those caltrops, on with my charge and we charge through the second unit as well and the first two units are pretty well about dead now so I'm sort of now on cleanup 
and two of them, three of my units, all just got promoted. So I think that's giving them like a, a you know, a 15% damage bonus to, to weapon melee damage, which is huge, as well as charge impact and stuff like that. So things are looking good. We just, we are leading the team at the moment. We've just slaughtered three units of enemy archers who kind of are venturing around on their own. And our unit is still in pretty decent health. And I'm kind of looking for my next targets. So we've got some more enemy cavalry coming. Again, pretty clumped up. I'm not quite sure what this guy was thinking. He didn't seem to really be paying a tremendous amount of attention. And then I just kind of bring myself around a little bit late on the charge. To kind of skim it in the back. Doesn't seem to really be paying a lot of attention at all. Perhaps realises his mistake at this point as he's getting stuck into quite a fight. He aggresses me, but really we've already done the damage. We've got one of his units routing. And when he's in a situation like that, it's really going to go down pretty fast. We obviously go for our frenzy for that massive damage. And things are looking pretty good. We also own a chunk of the capture points. You can kind of see them along the top. You know, there's like a, a B, C, D, E, and then our two respective bases. And we currently own the most, and that's why we are gaining the most points at the top of the screen. So the first team to either fully capture the enemy base, or to get to 3,000 victory points is the team that wins. So obviously that's why we're, we're trying to capture these points, because the more points you capture on the map, the more points you'll get in. So you obviously you want to get to that 3,000 points first. So okay, so things are looking okay. We managed to kill the bulk of that enemy cavalry. A little bit of it managed to escape, but by and large, we did pretty well. But we are a little bit damaged. You know, we're down to pretty well below half health and all the units. One of them is down to like a third. And I'm sort of thinking, where next? Smack that momentum on, but then I'm thinking, maybe it's time to go and heal. And this is one of the reasons why I think cavalry is so dominant in the new map mode, is because I can now pull myself back, head over to the cap point, just clump up on this on this um, healing point over here, and because I'm so fast, it doesn't take me very long to get there, I can then get back to this healing point, so stick myself on it, and as you'll see, I'll end up very rapidly back to full health. So I want to replenish my point, these are like the supply points, and yeah, I'm really healing back up already. And this is what turns this game quite differently on its head from the previous type of, you know, arena mode. Personally, I, I, it's growing on me, but I don't prefer it as much as the old arena game modes. I think I liked it when you killed an enemy unit, it's dead. Because it felt really satisfying. It's really fun to know that, you know, once you manage to outsmart someone or, or, or kill a unit of enemy archers or something like that, that's it, it's done, it's not coming back. And I think I kind of prefer that rather than this um, mode where you sort of have unlimited lives. So, we've got a little bit more enemy cav coming out, trying to chase these archers. Not doing a particularly good job of, of getting them around the corner. So I send the first unit in just to sort of pin them down. Taking then a bit of a wider flanking line. And then we come in and try and go for the mass of the unit across the line. As we kind of spread ourselves out a bit. Of course, straight in with the frenzy. Straight in with the mount kick. And try and get as much damage as we can. I think because that unit was pulling through initially to try and catch the archers. That's kind of where they went a bit wrong there and kind of caught them out a little bit. So our first unit is now getting to the second rank, rank two. It's really starting to give us um, a little bit more value there now. You know, it's getting getting pretty useful. And there we go, the rest of the units are starting to level up. I'm just trying to keep the damage on them. I think they were still in part trying to go for those archers and yeah, that didn't, didn't, didn't really work out very well for them because those archers are, are protected by me. So they're going to die pretty fast. And then beyond these I'm thinking so where do we want to go next because you know we're starting to capture those points D and E are the last two that we've got left and I think we're starting to pressure them a little bit more so we're starting to drive the enemy back further and further because that's kind of how it works you know even though ooh, big have a charge I didn't really get to select each target but since I was just spread out it kind of seemed to work across the line I sort of get myself a little bit in a twist here trying to tell which unit to attack which uh, but it works out for us in the end. And every unit's now up to two stars. We're taking quite a chunk of friendly fire from those archers. I'd rather they weren't, <laughs> weren't doing that. Because particularly as we out-level out, uh, these enemy cavalry, my damage potential is quite a lot higher. So I feel fairly confident I can win in this fight anyway. And I, and I don't really need the archer support to do it. Go on with the frenzy. Particularly as we're starting to get the upper hand. I think the, the, the melee defense loss isn't too bad. Um, and then, because I'm feeling like I'm starting to get shot to pieces by the enemy archers, I pull a unit out. This unit of archers, lovely clumped together. Oh, so much damage. <laughs> and then I'm trying to pin the remains of that cavalry in the fight. Didn't mean to drag them over. I accidentally drag selected them. 
um, while giving my unit, you know, a free free reign on the archers. So we're getting a good chunk of damage on, and then I'm thinking about what do I want to do? You know, these guys, and and as the enemy archers are sort of spreading out, I'm becoming a bit more nervous. But we start to get the upper hand in this cavalry fight. I think this is my higher level starting to tick in a little bit more. And I think, right, they're pretty much dead or as good as, and my other guys are going to be dead if we don't deal with these archers now. So getting myself on, activate the charge nice and early, bang, we're straight in. And that means those archers are now tied up as well. And a unit has gained a rank 3 <laughs> from that extra charge at the end, so our damage should now be really quite high. Trying to use my mount kick to keep everyone on the ground. And we've now, despite the fact that Archer tried to split up, um, you know, got them all pinned down. But absolutely, that Archer player could have avoided a lot of that. Had he had his three units spread out at a reasonable facings, uh, I, I don't have enough units to deal with all that, and he could be firing in. But because he started as a cluster of three, he's had a really hard time then sort of getting everyone out. And yeah, you don't want to be doing that. That was a real sort of bad mistake on his part. So we're finishing off these Archers. Uh, amazing that we're still alive really we, we've had a pretty decent game so far managed to catch quite a few enemy units out of position and we've really held a lot of the enemy stuff back and we've now captured the e-point as well and look how quickly our score is ticking up it's really looking very good for us but with those units dead i need to get fresh units i tap on this new feature this fallback function and basically it's a 10 second or so cooldown and it resends you back to the back of the map to the back of the supply point but that's it you're back then to full health um, well, as soon as you've done your 10 second replenishment on the actual uh, supply point. So yeah, so, so you can see how what I mean by this respawn feature. I don't think I actually get completely eliminated in this game. If you completely die and lose all your units, you then get something like a 30 or 40 second respawn timer. And, and you can pick at which point you want, wish to respawn. Yeah, so I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, it still kind of works because when you start killing units... One, you get the, the ranks, which makes you more dominant, so that's kind of a, a benefit to, to doing well. And then also, you know, you're getting to drive the enemy back off their points, so you're getting closer and closer to the enemy base. So, so that's also a benefit. So, so it does sort of balance out, but for me, I just preferred the kind of slightly more brutal nature of the, um, you know, doing it the, the other way, the old way. This random one, one javelin by himself, and he's dead. He got, got a surprise rear flank. I'm not quite sure what was surprising about it for him. I mean, considering he would have seen the cavalry coming from a long way off. But there we go. So, I'm thinking about what do we want to do next. I think I realise the game's coming to the closing stages. So I'm kind of just looking for sort of any fun sort of kills or anything by this point. Anything that kind of looks like it could be an easy kill. Obviously, some units of Astarte are not really what I was thinking about. Surprisingly, I've not come across any war elephants yet, um, despite I think they come in at tier 5, don't they? Or maybe it's tier 6. I can't remember now. Seems to be too long ago. Maybe Surus was tier 5, which was the premium one. So maybe it's tier 6 before we get the first war elephant. So maybe that's something I've got to look forward to in the future. So I'm starting to push myself down into the town. Um, always a little bit nervous going into town. You know, obviously, it's not really the barbarians' cavalry's hotspot. And I'm thinking that I wanted to get around the back of those guys to get to these archers. You can see in the top left. But the problem I had was that pretty much all the routes were blocked up by enemy infantry. So I'm having to pull out and I'm going around. Those Romans are happily deploying infantry stakes. They don't even peel at me, which I was quite pleased about. So it gives me free reign to go around. And because barbarian cavs so fast, it's really not a problem for me just to go around. And I'm thinking about going around these guys. I was thinking about trying to split myself up. It becomes harder in my opinion, to split yourself up neatly um, in town. You can see I get caught on some caltrops and the enemy infantry, enemy cavalry is trying to make a run for it out the front because it's basically beaten the front fight. So they're trying to make a run for it so they can get away. Obviously, go for that frenzy, trying to get them pinned down, just getting what damage I can in before they escape. But then rather sneakily, they end up going for our archers just around the corner, which was kind of annoying. They're the archers I protected earlier. So I'm trying to keep the chase on them, trying to trying to push them down, to stop them basically doing that, and uh, trying to keep the rat on them because most of these units now, when they're out, should be completely eliminated because they're already in wavering state. Hopefully, that should completely shatter them. There we go, a completely routed one there. And then we actually pick up a few little enemy archers there ourselves, we could see. But I think I decided, let's pull back, let's reassess. We're still a pretty much a full strength unit. There's still quite a lot we can do here, and there's some pretty juicy touches around. Some Romans there with some javelins. Oh, a little bit scary. Don't want to get hit by them. And now this is where it starts to turn into a dangerous game. And I'm clumping now, but 
with the fairly tight situation, there's no no choice. You can't keep good spacing at this point. The Romans try and pull back protect, but I get through in time. Um, I'm getting in, again, a bit of a charge in. Obviously, it's an offensive unit kind of in the way, so it doesn't really work amazingly. I'm trying to pull myself through, but Romans are starting to block the alley. And we've got a spear unit from behind. Thankfully, those stakes are the right way around for us so we can get over them. And I make my pull out because I'm trying to escape now. Oh, crap. You can almost hear the <laughs> oh, crap in my voice as this unit of cavalry pulls down. Doesn't realise, I don't think he reacts as quickly as I do. Doesn't get his charge off. My charge was still on cooldowns. I couldn't charge either. But we get a chunk of damage on him. And he tries to pull through us to escape. We get a chunk of damage on him as he's, as he's trying, to, trying to escape, which is good for us. But then those Romans are rapidly closing in on us. Just doing what damage I can, but I don't want to leave it too long because I still got to get out of here. Because those Romans are right there. And my momentum is amazingly still active. A few little archers here that obviously it'd be, be rude not to kill them, wouldn't it, really? Um, and we've got some nice javelins. So I line myself up, get the charge. I'm just as a big blob here, but hey-ho, it works. And we get our damage in. And some of our units are now max level. Look at that, plus 75 melee damage. That is just crazy. The amount of damage we get to do uh, per hit now is just super, super high, which is why we just absolutely rip through these ranged units super, super fast. And even this unit of um, enemy, a couple of enemy Histati here on the end don't really do much to us and die pretty quickly. So then it kind of comes, where next? Uh, I didn't really want to fight all the Roman infantry and the spears, those tier 4 hoplites. So we just managed to squeeze ourselves through the corner. And I'm thinking, right, let's get on to the enemy base. Let's start applying the pressure. Because we really, really should be about to win this battle very soon. And I thought, if there's no enemies on the base, maybe we can, you know, do something about it and just get the capture. Because if you capture the enemy base fully, then it's game over, no matter what the point situation is. So, you know, you, you have to be protecting your base. Unfortunately, it looks like some Romans have just respawned. I thought you never know they might ignore me, but no, no, they were they were there to turn in on me. But towards the end of the game, a couple of units of enemy archers. I kind of tried to go a bit neat and tactical and, you know, spread myself out. And then I kind of thought, well, I should have probably just charged in, particularly with allies coming in. But we get a good chunk of the kills. And that is it. Game, set and match. What a game. I had a really a pretty awesome time playing that one. Um, and it really panned out quite nicely as a game for me. So, yeah, Total War Arena. It feels awesome to be back in. I do really enjoy it. Even though quite a lot has changed, it does sort of feel a little bit like the old game that we kind of know and love. Um, supposedly, they're, the Chinese are aware of us as, you know, as Western players playing and are kind of don't really mind. They're happy to kind of support us and, you know, keep a couple of thousand of us in the game. So that's good for me. I'm certainly going to be dabbling in it every now and then. I think the second phase of testing is sort of coming to a close now, but I think once they get their sort of stuff sorted, I think we're going to be looking at having a release going forward kind of shortly-ish. I still had quite a few bugs I had to contend with. I guess this is kind of some of the process that probably the fact that uh, CA haven't got a massive team working on this and they're transitioning it to a new, you know, client. So they've got some stuff to kind of work out. But all in all, I had a really fun time. It was, it was really nice. Um, and I'm looking forward to being able to play again. Anyway, that is all I've got for you today. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, do let me know what you think in the comments down below. Of course, subscribe to the channel for some more Total War Arena content, as well as some other random strategy game content. And I shall see you guys all on the next video.